All right, you guys, welcome back to another new video. Like I said, you guys will be seeing me in the same fit because it's the same day. I'm just gonna be, I don't wanna make long videos and you guys be bored. So if you're interested in finding out how to install a Cardo or a Bluetooth system into your AGV Pista GPRR, like so, like me, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it. Um, and yeah. So that's mainly why I'm doing separate videos. Although I'm in the same fits, um, it's the same day. I uh, don't think I'm wearing the same clothes every day. And if I was, mind your fucking business. But um, yeah, this is basically what we're going to be doing. Thumbnail. Feel me? Thumbnail. You dig? Alright, cool. So... Basically, we're gonna be installing it right now. I have not added any of the extra padding if you guys were aware I did get it this in a size large um, Fit me pretty good. Um, it didn't move uh, Had no issues with it moving around while I was shaking my head like this um, Fit me pretty tight on my cheeks. So now once I add this it's gonna make it a little bit tighter So I don't want to add padding until I know like I'm done setting this whole thing up and I do fuck with Cardo so Here's a brand new one. My other showies also have it installed. Um, you know, I'm basically be showing you guys what I do. Yeah. So this is a Cardo Pack Tac Pack Talk Edge. The car. This is the Cardo Pack Talk Edge, as you guys can tell right there. Uh, this is a brand new one, so it's not the one that you guys see on my showies. Um, and let's go ahead and take one out. So this helmet, unlike the showy from what I've seen um, on other videos, uh, my showy already has um, cutouts for the speakers. And obviously this is a race helmet. Um, and I'm pretty sure whenever people are racing, they're not really like listening to music, but I'm gonna use it as like a daily driver. You know, I'm gonna be using it wherever I go. If I feel like I want to use this one or my showy, then that's what I'll be doing. So, obviously, I, as daily needs, I need to be able to talk in case I need to make an emergency call or answer a call or listen to directions, right? So, yeah. So, this right here are the speakers, the JBL speakers. Um, prep pad and everything. Um, on my showies. So most people usually like strap it. Um, I won't be doing that. I'll actually be showing you guys right now. Don't mind my phone. Still got battery. I'll actually be using this one, um, which doesn't strap to my helmet. It has 3M. Um, most people use this little strap and strap it into their helmets. I won't be doing that. So yeah. It's up to you what you want to do. I don't know if it would work, but that's what I'm going to do because my showy, I was going to use this so I could move it around and everything. Then I'll work out. Did not fit in my showy, so yeah. So basically what we're going to do, flip the helmet. Um, let me see if I can bring you guys a little lower. Kind of sucks because my helmet's, I mean, my camera's kind of heavy, so yeah. I don't know if you guys can see this. Hopefully you guys can. Um, I'm going to be taking out the padding. I'm going to see if I can remove this, which I don't know if I can. Oh, I can. I'm going to see if I can put my showy one in here. Because my showy one is a little bit longer than most. Um, and I feel like it does a difference, to be honest. Okay, so I need to take this out. Right here. I didn't really need to take that out. But, I'm going to show you guys. So, I got both cheek pads loose. Um, basically what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be opening it and, uh, putting the speakers in here. Because, like I said, this doesn't have pre-cut holes or anything like that. That I can just put it in there. Um, and I don't want to damage my padding so what i'm going to be doing right here is 
So there's a long side and a short side. Basically the short side is where it's going to connect to the actual uh, cardo and um, the long side is like mainly just like a free the free speaker. So usually I have it on my left side of my cardo system whenever I ride. So I'll be putting the short side where this is closer to so you guys see both ends since this one's shorter make sure you guys can tell the difference so this side will be the side that I'm gonna be putting on my left cheek pad okay so this side because I always have my cord on this side and this is how I lower it whatever I could bring a showy out and show you guys um, but yeah or I'll put a picture of my showy on the screen or should I show you guys I don't know I don't know okay so my left side once I put this helmet on if I flip it it'll be this side so we're gonna open this right here don't be dumb like me you guys don't mess with that shit cause this shit kinda like hard to fuck with but okay so like so I just put it back here um Maybe I could put it over here. Let's see. I don't think this might work out, but let's find out. Fuck around and find out. So, we put it right there. So if I put it on, let me see. Oh, shit. Okay. So I think that should work right there. I stuffed it into this one right here. It kind of is a bitch to stuff in there. But it basically has this little hole under this tag. And that's basically what I filled in. So I'll show you guys this side. I filled in this little white spot. Right? So it's right there. It's up here. So I stuffed it in like that. And here's the cable. So now, right cheek speaker. And what I'm basically gonna do is put this speaker under this padding right here and make it go through the head padding that's on the other side. So all the wire is gonna be on top of my head basically. I don't know why I had a brain for it. So boom, got it, let me click this on, oh, the little clickers, okay right there, so I just clicked it, boom, and now we're going to put it into this padding. So now it's back in there, as you guys can tell. And now I can just pull this in to my head and it'll be good. So, so now what I'm basically doing is putting the clips together. So basically all you do with these is you just slide them into each other so I'll show you guys right now. It's this way, I believe. Yep. So, boom, as you guys can tell. And I don't know if you guys heard that little click. So, basically what I'm gonna be doing with this one is putting it right here. let it dry real quick damn this video is hella long 21 minutes but I'll cut it to be shorter 
boom, it's dry now. So basically, what we're going to be doing is taking off the 3M tape right there. And basically, it's just going to go right here. So, like so. Right there. That's a good spot for me. That's where I have my other ones, like I said. I need to move my phone because it's right next to the mic. So basically, why I put this on first was because I need to be able to connect the mic and this little plug right here and tuck the cables away. So, I'm going to plug it in. Boom. Now, here's the mic. Oh, shit. This is not the mic. Here's the mic. Boom. So this little yellow thing needs to be facing you in the helmet. Okay, so remember that. All right, you guys, so next up, uh, that camera's a little crooked, but it's okay. So uh, Cardo has these right here. Basically all I do is just add them. You add them where you want them. Right? Wow, oh, what the hell? Came out hella crooked. So right there, boom. And now, all you'll do is just tape them where you want them, basically. So I also use these right here. But I use these for my uh, microphone. For the... For motoblogging. Which you guys will see in the next video. Okay? So basically, what we're gonna do is put this right in the center. So it should be right about there. So now we're good. And basically all this wire is just gonna be tucked under the cheek pad of the left side. So we're just gonna put this helmet back together. And honestly, this is one of the things that sucks because my showy took me like five minutes to install. And this you kind of have to make it work for you. Let me show you guys real quick. It is now set up. You see no cables, nothing. Boom. Clean, nice and clean. So now I'll go ahead and test it out for you guys. Okay, so now we're gonna connect the Cardo to my phone. Basically, it's on already. You just press the two buttons right here and it'll turn on. Um, now to connect to your phone, you just press this one for five seconds, which is the phone button. PT Edge, as you guys can tell. I have a couple, so it's connecting to a couple. So basically, right there, click phone. Actually, I'll let you guys hear it first. Uh, a banger right here. Mm hmm. Right there. You guys can hear it. So, now let's put it on. Okay, cool. So now let's call my wife. Let's see what she says. Yeah. Hey, hey baby, can you go outside? Outside? Yeah, so you could tell me if you can hear me pretty clearly or not. Or can you Should hear me? Walk? Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Yeah? Sounds good? Yeah, it sounds good. Sick. Okay, thank you. I just needed your approval. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, so I don't need to go outside anymore? No, you're good. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Boom. Set up, you guys. It took us... It's already... Like I said, that is the reason why I haven't added padding yet. 
because I figured it was going to fit a lot more snugger now with that on. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's set up now. Um, it's up to you guys if you guys want to do that. Uh, me personally, like I said, it's a clean look. No wires are out, as you can tell right there. They're tucked in inside. Can't see them. Not bothering me. They're good to go. So if you guys want to add a headset to yours, I highly recommend the Pack Talk Edge. The Pack Talk Edge, this one right here. This is my favorite one. I've seen other creators um, install theirs, and they have, I think it's the Freecom or the Slim, and it just looks so bulky. Like I seen one the other day that it's it has the headset on the side, and then it still has like another thing in the back. And I'm like, uh, that's adding a lot to your helmet. It looked clean, though. It looked cool. But you guys saw this on the AGV took me about 15 to 20 minutes to install properly because it doesn't have those cutouts. So those cutouts make a really big difference. On my showy, it took me like five minutes, you guys. Because all I just click it off, put the speakers in, good to go. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helped some of you guys um, Because at first I thought it wasn't gonna be possible just because I knew it didn't have cutouts and stuff like that Like it's like man, I'm gonna have to make holes into my padding. It was like a whole thing So I was really considering it before I bought this helmet and then I was like wait, maybe I can do this and uh, Yeah, it worked out. So hopefully you guys try it out. Hopefully it works for you guys uh, Let me know what you guys think Catch you guys on the next one